Can you get your permanent residence in Canada just after one year of studying? Do you want to save money time by just studying for one year, which in turn will make you eligible for the one year postgraduate work permit? Well, in today's video, I'll be trying to answer those questions. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Oh Lord, I've been running away from this video, but I gotta film it now. Shit is so ghetto. <laughs> okay. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, you're welcome. If you're an oldie, thank you so much for coming back. Thank you for sticking around with me. <laughs> my name is Neka Izanya and I upload immigration and lifestyle content right here on my channel. And yeah, I hope you stick around and enjoy this video. Okay, so before we get into this video, I want to point out some disclaimers. I am not an agent. This is no way in any shape or form illegal advice. So when you're done watching this video, please make sure you do your research. The second disclaimer I want to point out is that this topic is a very very sensitive and very important topic so I made sure that all the information I'm going to be dishing out in today's video is from the official Canadian immigration website which is CIC and the third disclaimer is in case you're watching this video in the archive it is August of 2021 and I'm stating this because I know CIC can change their rules and regulations so some things might change when you're watching this video so please be aware of that as well so I really don't know where to start with this video. Or would I say it's out of my comfort zone? Yeah, it's kind of out of my comfort zone because you guys know that I really just like to talk about things I've gone through personally for myself before. And some of you guys have been asking me questions, loads and loads of questions concerning um, this particular topic. And I've been trying to avoid it, but I decided to do an in-depth research about this topic before I dish out any information to you guys. So in case you sent me any question concerning this particular topic and I didn't reply, now you know why. <laughs> Is one year studies in Canada enough for you to apply for the permanent residence? Huh. This is a very tricky one and before I answer this question, I'm going to give you guys some very important information first. So please flow with me. If you've been following my immigration videos for a while now, this is not a new thing. I always start with story times before I get into a video. And I do this because personal experience for me is kind of the best teacher, right? So when I was coming to Canada, I came to Canada with a one year study permit. Before I came to Canada, I applied for a program known as the Leadership for Healthcare Professional Program. I knew that I wanted to get a three years postgraduate work permit. So after I was done my one year of school, I applied for another program known as the nursing aid or PSW program. So which made it one plus one, meaning I got two years of study in Canada. And if you do that, you can also be eligible for the three years work permit. So that's just the general overview of my experience here in Canada as a student or right now as a worker in Canada. So now let's talk about major points you have to know. The first major point is postgraduate work permit in Canada Canada can only be offered once in your lifetime just in case you want to try and be smart and you want to get one year study permit apply for a postgraduate work permit work for one year then apply for study permit again and apply for another postgraduate work permit again it's not gonna work so the Canadian government made it a rule that you can only be given a postgraduate work permit once in a lifetime if you study for one year you'll be given a one year postgraduate work permit if you study for two years you'll be given a three years postgraduate graduate work permit if the programs you apply for are under the dli list i've spoken about that in so many videos i'm going to link a video i spoke about that right here somewhere so please check that video out so you have to keep that in mind you can only apply for that once in a lifetime the second point is work experience while being a student doesn't count as a work experience when you want to apply for a pr your work experience starts officially when you're done with school so mean that if you apply for a pr the hours you gathered when you're going to school when you're a student it doesn't count as work experience if you want to apply for your permanent residence the third point is you can work full-time while waiting to receive your postgraduate work permit only if you have a valid study permit you have completed your program you were eligible to work off campus without a permit and you did not work off campus more than 20 hours a week during the academic sessions which means that when you're done schooling and um, you apply for your postgraduate work permit there's this weird space 
in between after you're done with school and before your postgraduate work permit is granted to you so within that period of time you can actually work full time those work hours you gain during that period is actually considered as work experience when you decide to apply for your PR so I just wanted to state that okay guys so now let's get into the analysis of this video and I'm going to talk to you guys on how you can determine or how you can calculate if you'll be eligible for your PR after just one year of study there's a tool the Canadian immigration uses to gauge people before they can apply for their permanent residence in Canada which is known as CRS which means comprehensive ranking system and it's a system that has like a couple of questions that you need to answer before you can be able to get a score a CRS score before you can know if you're eligible to apply for the express entry the CRS is a point-based system used to rank you in the express entry pool based on so many different factors which is your skills education your language your work experience experience and other factors i've kind of explained this pool before in a previous video just imagine a swimming pool like a pool with so many people inside that pool so the higher score you get in that pool the likelihood of you being picked out from the pool and when you get picked then then you will now be given an ita ita means like invitation to apply meaning invitation to apply for your permanent residence okay so i have my laptop with me here i'm going to be showing you guys how to calculate your crs score so if you can see here we have the comprehensive ranking systems skilled immigrant express entry there are three different programs under the express entry process and we have the federal skilled worker program the federal skilled trace program and the canadian experience class program if you're going to come in as a student and you're going to just work for one year there are just two programs you're likely to be eligible for for you to apply for your permanent residence okay and the two programs are the canadian experience class and the federal skilled worker program and i I said this because for the federal skilled trades program as someone who came to canada as a student and worked for just one year you won't be eligible for this particular program because if you see here you have to provide two years within the last five years either combination of full-time or part-time work the amount of work experience one year in canada in the last three years this is for the canadian class and for the federal skilled worker program they said one year continuous within the last 10 years so the likelihood of you um being eligible for these two programs is way higher so now let's go into the calculations you can see here they said use this tool if you're eligible for at least one year express entry program the first question will ask you is your marital status i'm going to be using myself now to answer this question so if you're married or you're divorcee whatever you can always um you know update it when you're doing your own um calculations okay so i'm single never married how old am i i am 25 years old and what is your level of education i have two or more certificates because i have a bachelor's degree and i also have like two other certificates i got here in canada so that's two or more certificate diplomas or degrees then have you earned a canadian degree diploma or certificates yes i have then choose the best answer to describe the level of education mine is a one or two year diploma or degree then official languages are your test results less than two years old i just wrote my english proficiency exam um two months ago or less so i would say yes i wrote the cell pip g i didn't write ielts but write ielts if you want to for my speaking i got an 11 for my listening i got an 11 for my reading i got a nine and for my writing i got a ten just in case you guys want me to do a video on how i got really good scores for my english proficiency exam just let me know in the description box and i'll definitely make a video on it then do you have other language results no i don't so i'll write not applicable work experience different um professions have different knock levels i would leave a link in the description box that can help you determine what knock level your occupation is if you want to apply for your pr you have to either order knock level o a or b knock level c is not accepted for permanent residence so you have to be under those three knock levels to be able to apply or to be able to get more points to apply for permanent residence here in canada i have a knock level b so and i've worked for let me just say one year right because in your case you've just worked for one year since you just studied for one year and you have the one year postgraduate work permit in the last 10 years how many years of foreign skilled work experience do you have i have none so i will say no i don't have any 
do you have a certificate of qualification from a canadian province no i'll say no here do you have a valid job offer yes i do which knock level is this job is a knock level b do you have a nomination certificate from a province or territory no i don't do you or your spouse common law have at least one brother or sister living in canada who has a permanent residence my brother has a permanent residence yes yeah? so this gives me an extra 15 points but if you don't have any any relation here in canada that has a permanent residence you will just say no okay so now we're going to go into the recent invitations that have been issued the last draw was if you can see here is in august 19 2021 and it was for the canadian experience class this was the last program the canadian immigration pool out from and they issued about 3,000 invitations for this particular program person with the lowest CRS score in this particular pool for this particular date was 403 so meaning if you have higher score than 403 the likelihood of you being picked for this Canadian experience class is high so they will likely give you an ITA so that you can apply for your for your PR okay so now that you guys kind of understand how to calculate your CRS score and to know if you'll be eligible to apply for your PR after studying for one year now let me answer the question is one year studies in Canada enough for you to apply for the permanent residence my answer is yes you can but it's very risky it's the kind of risk that I wouldn't want to take for myself and I won't advise someone to take as well and the funny thing is like you don't really have to make this decision right from the onset before you come into Canada I know it's good to plan for the future and it's good to be very proactive but you have like a stretch of one year to be able to decide what you want to do I've only seen one person throughout my stay in Canada that studied for one year and got her PR just one person and have met so many people here and for me to have only just met one person meaning that it's it's rare for people to do it people do it no doubt and they come out successful but it's a risk that i wouldn't want you guys to take if i'm being honest because like i said before postgraduate work permit is only granted to you once in your life and when you get your postgraduate work permit that's it you can't rewind time if your goal is to get your pr which i know is your goal since you're watching this video then i wouldn't really advise i honestly wouldn't advise you to rush into a decision like that or like this i mean good things take time right that's what they always say it's not only time that's involved in this money is also involved in this and i know money <laughs> to get money can be hard sometimes i know trust me but i feel like the money you spend and the time you spend waiting is worth it and you will not even be in a rush that's the funny thing like if you get your three years work permit you'll be sleeping and you sleep well the rest of mind because you're not rushing for anything you have three years to apply for your pr why people are sleeping and crossing their legs on the bed without having anxiety but you you're waking up with anxiety every night it's not even money you're already awake due to anxiety why why yeah that's just my advice for you guys i hope you guys found this video very helpful and i hope you learned something from this video please take whatever i say with a grain of salt you can make any decisions that you decide to make for yourself right i like to be very very transparent with you guys in my videos this video is actually a very very important video that people should watch so just in case you know someone that's coming to canada but is yet to make decisions like this please send them the video just in case you have any experience with this particular topic please leave your comments in the comment section any comments i see that is going to really help people i always spin it so please leave them in the comment section thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to like share subscribe to my youtube channel too if you haven't subscribed and also turn on the post notifications so that you can get notified every single time i upload a new video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys bye